think we are live. Are we live? Let's have a look. Yes, we are now live. I have to wait for the little tab to come up. So, good morning. We are into day three of our five-day kickstart, which I'm doing at the moment. And this morning in our 28-day kickstart, we are going into yoga in 10 minutes' time. So I thought I'd jump on um, before then. And then we have session at seven where I'm going to pretend to do a magic show. More on that another day. Anyway, I say magic show. It's, it's not at all. We're focusing on the arms, though, these bits. So, wanted to talk about IBS, bloating, stomach cramps today, just to give you... I had a question yesterday, um, which was related to this, or the, related to the symptoms of a lot of conditions. Um, and, and I can just say from personal experience, I remember... Morning, Jill. Give me a hello if you're coming in. I remember being in meetings at university and stuff and just hearing my stomach just growling and rumbling and making noise and, and used to getting stomach cramps like like full on stomach cramps and this was kind of before I was I would not eat gluten and I had really gone into wheat allergy gluten celiac arena I knew it was an issue but until I got that confirmation it was almost like I'll have it a bit sometimes I'll try it again I'll try a probiotic and have it all these things that were coming in now, it can be very stressful for someone's lifestyle when they when you have that because it stops you doing a lot of things. Now, of course, if you there are a few things you can do to to help with that, and I'm and I'm going to go go over them now. And and with the stress, it's a tricky one. Chicken and the egg. Stress is um, obviously looking at it from a point of view in in that stress could cause the IBS, but at the same time. IBS causes stress, kind of chicken and the egg. So I'm going to go through, firstly, what the nutrients might do. So if you look at fats as a nutrient, they are, you know, things like olive oil, avocado, oily fish, um, the, the fats in eggs and, and nuts and yogurt. Most people will not get symptoms from that. Most people. Uh, lactose intolerance is a different thing that I'm talking about at the moment. I'll go into that in a second. Um, and these don't ferment, and that's that reason. Not really anyway. They have a lower fermentation. If you look at then look at protein, again, these foods don't ferment, like meats, chicken, um, again, like eggs. Most people are fine with them. Nuts and seeds contain protein, but in lesser amounts, of course. And, and some people might get some symptoms from, from that, but generally people are okay. Obviously, quantity is a key thing. Now, most veggies are fine for people. A few that, and this includes kind of lagoons in there as well, a few that you might want to be wary of if, if you suffer, is things like broccoli, chickpeas, lagoons, cabbage, sprouts. Um, for obvious reasons, they ferment in your gut and the byproduct of fermentation is gas. And if that's an issue, then that might be something to look at. Now, as for carbs, this is probably the most important area to kind of be a bit flexible with so you want to try carbs that don't really ferment okay so if you the carbs it's almost opposite to what you've been told before so things like jasmine rice rice noodles rice pasta and like a corn based cat carb are probably going to be better than like a whole grain fibrous um carbohydrate in terms of bloating that is now that's just to give you a little rundown of the nutrients. And I go into this in more detail, by the way, with dietitian um, Mike Sweeney. We did a podcast, so I'll, I'll post a link in the comments, actually, to that. Um, so, but a few simple things you could do, like, today without really worrying about the nutrients too much. That You might not even have to go into that far. It just So, avoiding spicy food. These can speed up how quickly food goes through you. Limiting caffeine for the reason that that can lead to they don't call it poop juice for no reason um chew more not that i would you know it doesn't mean you have to give up coffee by the way it could just be that decaf coffee could be better for you that is uh chew more like simply like there was uh, when comparing those who compared their um who chewed their food 10 times compared to 40 times so they compared people who chewed 10 times to 40 times chewing only 10 times led to increased malabsorption of nutrients which could 
irritate the gut and it could also morning deb could also make you feel a bit more tired if you're not getting the nutrients you need next one is drink more fluids okay so if you have eaten more fiber or had a large meal um you know drinking more water can definitely help finally Yoga and meditation. Yoga and meditation has been shown to help with this. And this is why we have yoga, meditation, another reason, not just why we have it. Because, you know, the research is definitely there behind it. Um, not just stress, but yeah, in on there as well. I used to get um, in IBS quite bad due to stress. However, I don't get it much today. I don't eat two or more fruits together. Yeah, so fruits can be quite a tricky one. Like apples are very fermentable bananas um in terms of lactose intolerance what you could do is buy some dairy milk like normal buy some lactose free dairy milk then get your other half or someone to portion them away have one type make sure you don't know which one it is for three days then get your other half see how you feel get your other half to switch them over and see how you get on and i think that it's a good thing to do like to, to just see whether how much is psychological, how much, which one is actually causing the issue there. Because one of the ladies, she actually just switched her dairy milk to lactose free milk and saw a big improvement. But however, some of the research is really interesting in terms of how much is psychological, how much is stress related. So a lot to think about there. I'll put the link to the podcast in the comments if you want to listen to that and go into a bit more detail. That's just a bit of an overview for you. Um, yeah, any questions on that, do let me know. Um, and we shall go from there. Have a great day. It is yoga time. Speak soon.